The medium should have been taken according. Dr. Constantine Rodi, once a student of Carl Jung and a former professor of psychology at the universities of Uppsala and Riga, believed that a tape recorder left running in record mode in a quiet room can capture the voices of the dead. This phenomenon, if it exists, was prophesied by Thomas Edison, inventor of the phonograph but discovered by a musician and film producer named Friedrich Jürgensen at the end of the 1950s. Taking a tape recorder out to the Swedish countryside to record bird song, he also picked up faint conversations, which, coincidentally or not, were discussions of nocturnal bird vocalizations. Jürgensen published a book, Voices from the Universe, which alerted parapsychologists. In 1971, Pi Records, the same company that released many important pop and R&B records in the 1960s, participated in experiments aimed at testing the theory. During an 18-minute recording, the engineer heard nothing over his headphones, although the VU meter indicated constant signals. But the playback those present heard over 200 voices. These psychophonic voices sound like swarms of oral garbage, the ether talk of subliminal toadfish captured in the global battle of dead city radio transmissions that fills our so-called silence. Perhaps they are spirits trying to tell us something. But what? Curating the world. At the dawn of audio recording, a small boy named Ludwig Koch sat under a piano with an Edison phonograph, recording the playing of Johann Brahms onto a wax cylinder. This document, made on the cusp of a new era of music and technology, was lost when Koch fled 